All right, hello everybody. So this is a pretty late night and I'm feeling like getting a snack or something, midnight snack. So I go ahead and I crack open this can of pink salmon here. And my expectation is something like a can of tuna, you know? It's gonna be skinless and uniform meat. And um, I was very surprised when I opened it, drained it, and got this. <clears throat> so, this is salmon meat, obviously, but it still has plenty of skin on it. It's breaking down into a mush. And, I mean, it looks like salmon meat. We'll have to give it a shot soon. Now, what really, really bothers me here, the skin wouldn't even be so bad. They left the bones in. If you can see right there. That's the whole spine. They've left that in entirely. Now, what I noticed when I was trying to figure out what these were, let's see. It's a little tiny pellet of a bone. Now, I don't know if it was if it's been it says it's just been salted so i don't know but these are bones and they just pulverize easy into a little mush these little vertebrae on the salmon so there's that I don't know if salmon bones are supposed to be that soft. I don't believe they are. I can't say I've ever ate salmon before with bones in it. And I can definitely say I'm rather disappointed this is not like plain tuna meat, like the same as tuna. You know, just oh, crack open a tan of tuna, you never get skin and bones with it, but this one you do. Maybe that was the mistake of the traditional style. I'll be looking at other salmon soon, but without heating it up, without adding anything to it, let's give it a shot. A little bit of skin on there. I'm trying to make sure I don't get any bone in there. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That is not good. That is super, super dry. Uh, still fairly salty. Um, horrible texture on the meat. It falls apart like... Um, it, it has a weird sawdust texture to it. Um, not very flavorful. Doesn't taste like your good old salmon. It tastes like bad tuna to me. I'm probably not gonna eat the rest of it. It might be bad. There was a dent in this can. So, to avoid getting sick, I might not even go for the rest of that. Okay, let's see how this skin works out. A little bit of skin on that piece. I think you can eat it. Or it seems pointless to me. The fish is now, it's been sitting in this salt water solution this whole time. And it's degraded to the point that all of the meat turns, falls apart, but it doesn't flake apart. Like good salmon, it falls apart into like a sawdust sort of texture. 
And then on top of that, you have to take mush bones and remove that and the skin. And the manual labor of all of that, just that, and on top of it, just the flavor just isn't good with this stuff. It's just not good. Right, we're going to take the extreme here. We're going to take a piece of vertebrae and eat it and see what's the worst happens. Just like hypothetically, let's say, boom, you accidentally chewed a piece of vertebrae. Nasty, but it, um, yeah, at least it's better than like beef or pork bone shards that you don't hurt your teeth when you bite in on it. Kind of reminds me of chalk, like literal just chalk. Well, our food you didn't ask for. Yep. It's a pretty solid dial and vote there. That is not very good at all. I'm not very picky, but man. Mm -mm. I'd have to be a special kind of starving to want to eat this. Alright, see you folks.